Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and welcome back to my 31 Days of Horror in October, Day 3. Uh, today, we're going to review the film, The Day of the Triffids. <laughs> um, this was an interesting one. I, um, I enjoyed this one. <laughs> um, the Day of the Triffids clocks in at about 94 minutes. And is a 1962, if you look at IMDb, it says 1963 film. Now, not The Day of the Triffids was directed by Steve, and pardon me if I uh, mispronounce his name, Sikili, who unfortunately passed away on March 9th of 1979 at the age of 80 due to stomach cancer. This film was also directed by an uncredited uh, Freddie Francis, um, who unfortunately also passed away on March 17th of 2007 at the age of 89 due to a stroke. Now, Steve Skeely was... I couldn't really find much that I had seen that he was responsible for. He did um, do Revenge of the Zombies, which I do believe I have seen. Now, Freddie Francis, on the other hand, is completely different. Um, he did an episode of uh, Tales from the Crypt called The Last Respects. Um, he also did a movie uh, called Dark Tower, which was in 1989. And I'm trying to think of the, the guy's name... Uh, Michael Moriarty was in it. And it wasn't bad. I actually watched it with my cousin one time. And uh, he was also responsible for a movie I just watched last week called The Doctor and the Devils, uh, which starred um, uh, the guy from James Bond. I'm trying to think of his name. Uh, Timothy Dalton. Yeah. Uh, and I really enjoyed that. Now, I, I'm not going to be able to go into too much about what this movie is about without giving away key plot points. Um, there is a meteor shower on the Earth, uh, coming towards the Earth in the very beginning. Um, it comes to find out that the meteor shower is responsible for the Triffids. Um, and they are multiplying. The meteor shower also causes a disability in a majority of the population, which I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it plays into the movie quite a bit. And you're basically looking at two groups of people primarily. You know, they meet with other people along the way. But the one, um, the first group is a Navy, um, I believe he's a, I'm trying to think of what his rank was in the Navy. And I can't think of it for some reason. But, um... He meets up with a little girl in a town, and they kind of travel together, um, finding other survivors, uh, people that haven't been um, affected by the by the meteors. Uh, there also is a couple who live in a lighthouse um, who are doing research, a marine biology research. He's an alcoholic, um, of course. His wife also works with him, and um, they are desperately trying to look for a way to get rid of the Triffids. Now, that's pretty much all I'm going to tell you about the plot. Um, there's not really a whole lot to it, but it's just a ton of fun. I really enjoyed this film. Um, <clears throat> this is the cheesy flicks version. Uh, the other day, I actually picked this up from um, Goodwill not that long ago. Um, I picked it up because I had seen it in a, um, fellow YouTuber's video. Uh, Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, uh, used to do, uh, Top Ten Tuesdays, where he would pick a subject and, you know, count down the films that he has by it. And this was, uh, Killer Plants. <clears throat> and you wouldn't think there would be that many, but there, there are. <laughs> there are quite a few. So I saw this exact copy, the Cheesy Flicks copy, and I picked it up at um, 
goodwill. I also uh, was talking to Papa Jupe. I don't know if you guys know who he is, but you might want to subscribe to him. He has a really cool channel. Um, he actually showed this exact copy in the in one of his videos, and I told him I said I've seen this exact. I had this exact copy, and I don't really see it around too often. And he explained how much he loved it. And I said, well, I'm thinking about doing a review for my 31 Days of Horror in October. He said that would be great. So this is kind of going out to Matt from You and Your Horror Movies and Mark from Papa Jupe. So, but I really enjoyed this. This is your typical um, sci-fi, end-of-the-world sort of scenario um, that you saw in a lot of movies, older movies. But it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Um, this, of course, is based on a novel by John Windham, who also wrote The Village of the Damned. And there was actually a miniseries done about this, kind of like a remake for TV in 1981. That I've never seen, but I'm curious to see what it looks like. So I'm going to see if I can find it anywhere. Um, overall, I'm going to give this film a 7. That is 7 smashed pumpkins. Um, I really did enjoy this. It was a lot of fun and... I mean, it's not going to be for everyone, people who don't like um, the old science fiction movies, um, creature features kind of, creature being a plant in this one, um, probably aren't going to like this, but it is fun. I mean, if you get a chance, definitely check it out. Um, give it a chance. It's fun. So, um, a bunch of my fellow YouTubers are also doing their 31 Days in October. I have a list here, which is ever-growing, by the way. Uh, let's see. Uh, you and Your Horror Movies. Last Venom 76. Jen's Reviews from the Grave with Christian. Uh, Lisa Loves. Dave Maggot. Rusting Willpower. Random Horror. The Horror Man. Horror Fan 34. Movie Review Time. Um... My buddy Andrew from Andrew's Crypt is doing a recommendation a day in the month of October, which is really cool. Uh, my friend Wayne from Retro Horror is also doing his 100 movie challenge. Hats off to you, my friend. Um, I watched every single review you did last year and really, really enjoyed it. And there is a going to be a series this month called Three from the Grave. Which is going to consist of Lisa Loves, Strange Monkey, and Movie Massacre. So be sure to check that out too. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.